fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high yo silver, the Lone Ranger. Travel was dangerous in the early days of the western United States. The stage routes crossed rough country where outlaws made their hideout, and the trails themselves were poorly marked and so narrow that only an expert could handle the lumbering coaches. It was not until the masked rider of the plains started his great fight for justice that the fear of outlaws was removed, and it was his knowledge of the country which led to the choice of safer routes. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young and adventure lay at the end of every trail. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading west for El Morado! hi Silver! Away! Neil Butler had slumped to his bed, far too exhausted to undress. But in spite of his exhaustion, he soon began to toss and turn and mutter in his sleep. I didn't. No! Oh, the devils can't sleep. Always seeing them, hearing them going crazy. Neil, I heard you call out. Get away. I'm going now. Don't stop me. Come back, Neil. It's only a dream. Oh, don't try to stop me. Neil, stop. Come back, Neil. Neil! Neil, listen to me. Can't you hear me? Come back. Scout. I think there's a trail ahead, Tonto. Uh, follow it to the west. It should be the trail to Alvarado. That's right. Come on, old fella. Hurry, boy. <laughs> steady, Silver. Steady, boy. Hold steady. Oh, hold still. Oh, what's the matter, old fella? What is it, Silver? <laughs> Their man. Well, that's why the horse is pulled up. Let's have a look at him. Uh, uh, something's wrong here. Uh, maybe him shot. We'll soon find out. There's nothing here. Help me turn him over. Uh, uh, no wound. Him just tired out. And that's what it looks like. The fellow's exhausted. Well, Alvarado will have to wait, Kimasabi. And what we do? We make camp and try to bring this fellow around. Give me a hand. I'll put him on silver.
Two hours later, a blanket clutched to his shoulders, Neil Butler stared glumly into the campfire the masked man had built. Neil. Neil. Huh? Oh, sorry. Reckon I didn't hear you at first. I think you'd better tell us your story. Story? You did quite a bit of talking before you came, too. Too much for you to deny that there's something on your mind. Better tell it. Sometimes speaking helps. Talking ain't gonna help me. It won't harm you unless you have something to hide. <laughs> hide? What'd be the use? The story's all over. All the less reason, then, for not telling us. You were saying something about a stage. A bad trail. Rain. I was a stage driver. Yes? Well, it won't hurt, I reckon. Maybe so it'll even help, like you said. You see, stranger, it was like this. I drove the stage on the mountain division. Drove it for more than five years. I see. Up till a month ago. That was when I made my last trip. What happened then? Well, I had three passengers that day and plenty of express. Part of it, 15000 in folding money for San Francisco in payment for ship, a shipment of gold east. On account of all that cash, there was two shotgun messengers riding along instead of one as usual. It was raining fit to be tied. I was having my hands full, snaking them horses over the mountain. Get on, Blackie. Get up. Get up. Blasted rain. Can't hardly see the trail. I don't like it. <laughs> Scared? Well, there's nothing to laugh about. Take a look at that drop. What had happened to us if we went over? This storm's turning the trail into gumbo. We could slip off the edge just as easy as nothing. We'll make it. Get up there. Come on. Get up. How about when we get to that twist in the trail? Just before we top the divide. Well, what about it? Trail's mighty narrow there. Ain't I been handling stages on this division long enough to know what I can do and what I can? Yeah, but how many times have you drove in weather like this? There, listen to that. You said the rain had let up, but it's getting worse. Come on, Blackie, quit soldiering. Play into it. Maybe I don't take the stage out in weather like this as a rule, but them passengers inside was dead set on getting through. And you used to have as much as me, the superintendent didn't want any delay with the cash we're carrying. The more delay, the more likely road agents to get wind of it. No one said you had to take the stage out, though. They asked you if you figured you could make it. If you said no, you could have waited till tomorrow. And we both asked you to wait. And I wouldn't, because I still have my job. And if you don't like it, climb down and walk. Get up. Get along there. Get up. Get up there, Blackie. confidence in your own judgment? <laughs> yeah, like a fool. Well, that's the way it went. The rain pounding us, the horses slipping and sliding in the mud, the passengers huddled inside the coach and doggone sorry they'd come. And both the messengers hollering away at me to turn back. Then we come to within sight of the meanest twist and curve along the whole trail. Get up there! Come on there! Oh, oh, what's the matter? You look like ahead! Look. look at that curve! Doggone if I ain't got a notion to warn, driver. Uh, you loco enough to figure you can make that curve? I ain't loco, but I sure figure to do it. You can't. Mud. It's nothing but mud. And the trail slants for the drop. If we start slipping... Doggone, oh, shut up and leave me handle this. Sir, well, we got to turn back. And here's the place to do it. We got room here. Rain in them horses. We'll turn... Get up there. Get on. Pull up, plastic. We'll all get killed. Get up. Come on there, you cayuses. Stop on Give me them rain, Nico. They go to the next we will have an accident. Last you Too late to turn back anyhow. We're into the curve. Hang on tight and don't butt in. We'll never make it. Stop. Stop. Easy there, Dusty. Come on, Blackie. You there, like to Dig in. Get up, you jughead. Get up. We're slipping. We're slipping already. We're going to turn over. Come on, there. You got to make it. Lay into it. Come on, Blackie. Blackie. Come on, Blackie. Rail, give it away. <laughs> slipped off the trail? You went over the drop? We did. All I can recollect is the horses screaming and trying to hold their footing. Them messengers yelling like they'd gone loco. Everything began to turn upside down like the whole world was being tipped on end. And then me coming to again in the bed. 
And fellas standing around looking at me like they were sorry I wasn't done for. The others, the passengers, the two guards. The passengers was killed, all of them. And one of the guards. Bart and me was the only ones to pull through. Bart had broke a leg. Me, I wasn't hardly scratched. Me, the fault of the whole thing not hurt at all. I wish I had been. I wish they had it done for me. All I can do is see them that was killed accusing me. Day and night, it don't make no difference. They're staring at me, pointing at me, saying things, saying things easy, all the man, time. Easy, man, easy. This is doing you no good. Tonight, tonight I dreamed of them again. That's why you found me the way you did. I was trying to run away, but I can't. I can't. What happened to the money you were carrying? Was it found? Accusing me. Accusing me. Accusing me. <laughs> Pull yourself together, fellow. I asked you about the money you carried. What happened to it? I don't know. It's lying somewhere in the mud, I reckon. They made a search for it? <laughs> a search. They just about turned things upside down to find it. But how was they to find a small package like that when they couldn't even find half the stage? It was scattered over half a county. Listen to me, Neil. Do you feel as though you were at fault? I was. Of course I was. But I'd been so sure. I'd covered that trail so many times. The authorities? They heard Bart's story. How him and his part had tried to get me to turn back. I was fired from my job, of course. Wasn't nothing the law could hold me for. Just a mistake in judgment. But it was plain to be seen how folks felt. I knew they was talking behind my back, whispering, calling me a murderer. Will you show us the place where the stage left the trail? Huh? What fur? I have an idea. Tato and I were riding for Alvarado, following a lead I think is connected with your accident. Yeah, but what's Answer that? Answer my question. Can you show us the place, or can't you? Well, sure I can. Tonto, bring the horses. Uh -huh. Tonto, get them. It won't be easy to get to, stranger. That trail ain't been used since. Most of give way with the stage. Never mind that. The sun's coming up now. We'll be able to see at any rate. But I don't... I don't see... argue. Help me smother this fire. Then you ride with me on silver. The trail they were looking for was many miles from the place where they had made camp. And it was past noon when the masked man gave the signal to halt. Whoa, Silver! Whoa, 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 whoa. You'll have to watch your footing. It's right steep here. Hip. Watch out for loose stones and we'll be safe enough. This is the place. Look there again, that rock. That's one of the wheels. The first one to bust loose. Up above us there is the place we slid off. You can see how most of the trail was carried away. And that's where I want to look. We'll have to climb. It's too steep for the horses. Stay with them, Tonto. Uh huh. Come on. I, I wish you'd tell me what this is all about. Be careful here. Well, that's better. This way now. I'll tell you what I'm after, when and if I find it. I'll tell you one thing now, however. Yeah? You may not be as guilty of those deaths as you think yourself. If I find what I'm looking for, I'll show you proof of it. Huh? You mean Here that... we are. This must have been the place. What place? What's left of the trail is just over our heads here. Uh-huh, but the then... The trail curves. It's the most dangerous spot along its whole length. I still don't savvy oh, why... You see something? Stay there. What is it? Exactly what I expected. What's that you picked up? Take a look. A cap and part of a fuse. You understand now? I'm blamed if I do. I don't see what you... Don't you understand that this goes to prove the trail had been deliberately weakened before you came over it with a stage? I wondered why a driver with your experience would take a chance with the odds against him. Your judgment wasn't at fault. What you didn't know, couldn't know, was that someone had been here ahead of you. Someone who had blasted out the rock here where it supported the trail. All that was needed was the weight of the coach to make the trail cave in. Well, I'll be... Hey, what? Look above. A landslide. Started a purpose. Shadow, get out below with the horses. Get going before you're trapped. We'll be killed. Hurry, behind that ledge there. It's our only chance. Hurry. Curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. And a few minor bruises made by flying stones. But when Neil, outstretched upon the ground, began to stir... No, move. But I... You hear me? Don't move. Stay just as you are. Let whoever set off that blast think he got us. He... You mean he might try again? And what's to stop him? We can't down here. He shouldn't be able to see us. But if he does, make it look as though we're done for. Tonto and the horses. Tonto saw what was coming. Don't worry about them. They won't be seen. The overhang of the cliff gives them cover. Yeah. Be careful. Don't even turn your head. But it's all gone uncomfortable here. But better than being killed. Now, wait. Try to keep silent. You're the boss. Can't I even... Quiet. Gosh, I... Get up! Get up! Get up! What was that? The man who tried to kill us. Huh? Just a moment more. Don't move too soon and spoil it now. Stranger, look here. Yes? You're way ahead of me. How'd you figure all this? What brought you into this part of the country? Yeah, and who's that just rode off? Do you know? I believe I do. Then why don't you... I won't you... mention names until I can prove he's the man behind the wreck of the stage you drove. The fellow I'm thinking of, however, recently bought a large ranch in a county quite a distance from here. Tanner recognized him. He was from Alvarado, and the job he'd held would never allowed him to save money enough to buy even a small outfit. Yeah? I wanted to find out just where he got his money. We were heading for Alvarado to investigate. But before we left, we asked questions about the fellow. I've got an idea. He learned we'd been interested in him. Followed us to find out why. And this is the result. So that's what brought you. Right. And, and it wasn't my fault them folks were killed. Right again. Stranger, just with that alone, you've done more for me already that I can ever repay Come on. you. Must be out of sight by now. Back to the horses. And, uh, and then what? And then we pick up that fellow's trail. Hurry. <laughs> Three hours later, Neil Butler's wife heard the clattering of hoofs outside their home and paused in her work to look through the window. What she saw sent her flying to the door. Neil! Oh, Neil, I've been worrying so. <laughs> no need to worry for me, honey. But where have you been? What have you been... Nora, I've been so many places and done so many things since last night, it'd take me an hour to tell you. And I ain't got the time. Where's my gun? Did you see him? You, you left him on the table. Oh, sure, I see him. You, you're going to wear him? Uh-huh. Neil, huh? what do you want with those guns? What are you planning to do with them? Oh, nothing much. <laughs> They're going to be more for show than use, I reckon. Look at me. No, what Neil, do you want... I want the truth. Are you going hunting for trouble? <laughs> Why, shucks, no. What would I do that for? Then why do you want to be armed? I just said they was more for show. Those men outside, who are they? Friends of mine. That's no answer. One of those men is masked. The other's redskin. Since when have you made friends with outlaws? Outlaws? <laughs> That's a good one. Well, goodbye, honey. Wait. Well? Where are you going? Why, just Alvarado. You, you haven't gone there since, since the accident. That's right. I, I ain't, I guess. You, you've changed. Changed? Last night you were worried, bitter. I was afraid of what you might do. That was last night. Now you're different. Oh, Neil, I'm still worried. Please don't... I'm sorry. I've got to be on my way. No, wait. Nora, you asked me a couple of questions. You asked me who the mask fellow was. And what I aim to do. Yes. I'm going to do something, honey, I never figured to do again. I'm going to drive a stage. No. And that mask fella? Well, if it leaves your mind any to know it, that there's the Lone Ranger. And now I can't stay any longer. Bye. Neil. The, the Lone Ranger. Come on, get up. was a little more than an hour's ride from Neil's home, the masked man chose to arrive there after dark. And so several more hours had passed when Neil, alone, entered the local office of the stage line. Three men were seated inside. Evening. Huh? Neil. Neil Butler. No call to be so surprised to see me as a Jensen. Thought you'd left these parts for good when you quit your station agent job here. I brought you back. Why, I... I came back to say howdy to his friends. What's it to you? Oh, nothing, Sheriff. And, Neil, let me tell you something. If you're still holding it again, Jensen, for firing you from your job, forget it. I won't stand for no trouble from you. <laughs> yeah? Oh, well, howdy, Bart. Ain't heard nothing from you yet. I'm kind of choosy who I pass the time of day with. Meaning? Meaning that caused the law weren't ever able to act again you. 
It don't signify you ain't just as much a killer as if you'd shot them folks down with a gun. So if you think I'm... I don't take that kind of talk, Bob. No? Well, by thunder in my book, you're as low as they come. That plain enough? I wouldn't well, put... I'd blast you, Bart. That's enough from both of you. Bart, don't go to start nothing. Ah. You, Neil, you ain't so popular in town no more. Bart only said aloud what everybody else is thinking. Folks died because you had to show what great shakes of a driver you thought you was. Take my advice, stay out of El Dorado. I can't always be on hand to check rain, folks. Keep out of sight and there'll be no cause for a ruckus to start. No, oh, you got business here? Sure. Think I stopped in because I liked your company? There's an engine outside wants to speak to you. I said I'd tell you. Uh, what's he want? Suppose you find out for yourself. Oh, you're one or two, Bart. Huh? He hankered to see both of you. Why me? You heard what I told the sheriff. If you aim to see what he wants, he's waiting there. Well, come on, Bart. Yeah. Well, maybe we don't want you, Jensen. You stay here. But I... Wait for us, Jensen. We'll be right back in. Well, anyway, I'd sort of like to talk with you. Uh, I don't see no redskin, Sheriff. Maybe he's here, Tonto. Oh, there you are, huh? All right, what's on your mind? Reach. What? What's that? Keep your hands from your guns, both of you. A mask, man! You! Tonto was just a decoy, Sheriff. I thought you'd be too busy watching him to see me. What do you want? Did Neil send us outside knowing you was here? If he did... You'll do nothing about it. Tonto, uh -huh. get the horses hitched to the stage. Hurry. Tonto, do it. Horses? The stage? Walk ahead what? of me. Toward the stables. Now look here, mister. I won't argue, Sheriff. Get moving or take the consequences. Uh, we ain't got much choice, Sheriff. Let's go. They'll pay for this. Someone will pay, Sheriff, but it won't be us. <laughs> Twenty minutes later. Why ain't the sheriff and Bart come back? What are you sitting there just grinning at me for? This don't look right to me. If you're up to something... Him... Uh, gun. Which same I'll use if I have to. <laughs> now just keep patient. Sure I'm up to something. And it won't be long till you find out what. As a matter of oh, fact, oh, we'll oh, just get started right now. Oh, Everything seems to be set. Come on. March. That stage. There ain't supposed to be no stage this time of day. What are you... We're taking a ride, Jensen. A ride? One I've been owing you for a long, long time. But I never found out till today it was you I owed it to. Uh, here. Here, stage. Thanks, Tonto. Climb up, Jensen. Where are we going? You, you ain't loco, are you? Stealing a coach like this? I said climb aboard. <laughs> now, hand me them reins. Here. Uh, uh. You said you'd like to know where we're going, Jensen? Uh-huh. You recollect the mountain trail? You recollect where the stage I was driving tipped over? Uh, I'll recollect. Well, that's just where we're headed for. Get up! Get along there with you! Get up! Come on, Dustin! Get up! Get up there! Come on! Hello. Uh, bring Silver and Scout. We're riding ahead of them. With Neil cracking his whip and shouting to the horses he had driven so many times before, the huge stage went lumbering out of town and through the night, over the trail that led to the dangerous mountain country. Urged on by the driver, the straining horses thundered up the trail at their utmost speed. The trail met and followed a canyon that became deeper as the trail climbed higher. The floor of the canyon was concealed in shadows. And as the stage careened over the trail, Jensen's panic steadily mounted. There's Needle Rock! Right! Get up! Get along there. But the curve, the place where the trail broke through in a thousand yards beyond. Sure. Keep moving, Blackie. If you don't stop, we'll be killed. <laughs> That's just fine. You are local. But I'm keeping my promise, Jensen. We're going out together. Pull up. Pull up. Let go. No, let go. Oh. There. Let them reins be your next time. I'll knock you right off the stage. I did it. I'll admit it. I blasted out that trail till you turn over when you went through the night. Oh, you oh. waited for the stage to go off the trail. Then you stole the cash, didn't you? Yes, yes, I did. After you got the cash, you quit your job. You cleared out and bought yourself a ranch. I did it. I admit it. But I don't want to die. Please, please, I don't want to die. Neither did them other fellas. Get along. Get along there. You got to listen. Neil, Neil. I'll divide up with you. I'll give you half of all I got. There was 15000 That'll mean over 7000 just for you. 7000 Stop. Stop. I don't mean that. I do. I give you my word. Just don't kill me. 
Dad, just ahead. The trail's out. We're going to go through it. Promise that again. I'll give it all to you. I'll give you anything. That's just what I wanted to hear. Move. Move there, Blackie. Move. Move there. Move. Move. Move there. Steady there. Steady. Another five yards. And we'd sure have gone over. Better get down. It'll do you good to stretch your legs. You don't look to me like you feel so good. Oh. Oh, you're going to get turned around. I can make it when the time comes. So you'll pay half what you stole, huh? Uh, I'll pay. Uh, oh. We thought you'd break, Jensen. The masked man. Right. Tonto, untie the sheriff and Bart. Uh-huh. Tonto, do it. The sheriff? Was riding right along with us inside the stage the whole way. Him and Bart both. I said this would be your finish, Jensen. But it weren't in the way you figured I meant. Tonto and I tied and gagged them and put them inside where they couldn't be seen, but where they could hear everything that was said. What shame we did. And stranger, I'm apologizing for all the things I was thinking about you when you gagged us. You figured out a way to make this skunk talk in front of witnesses. And you can believe me, he's going to get everything he's got coming. With full measure. Wait, I, I never confessed to nothing. I didn't... You didn't save your breath. We heard a plenty. Jensen, you'll hang. And Neil? Is cleared. Neil... You got my word. Everybody's going to hear the truth about this. And your old job's waiting for you. Thanks to the Lone Ranger. What? The Lone Ranger? Jumping G. Horsefat. Hi, stranger. I've been wanting to meet up with you for a long time. Wait! Sheriff, <laughs> Sheriff you ain't through waiting yet. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.